What's good? This is Marcus DeFingas back at it again with another video. In this video, we're going to go over form key. Um, I have form key here. It's a way to input MIDI data into uh, your sound module, your DAW on the iPad. Shout out to Brent from form key for providing a copy of this for me to review. Uh, so we're going to try to test it out. I haven't opened the app yet. What I have done is uh, I read a couple articles on what you can do with the app and what, um, um, how you can input data and, and create chords and things from it. So I'm just going to open it standalone here and see what happens. Uh, form key polyhedra. You see the, the great logo here. Um, welcome to form key. See the welcome, welcome screen. I won't read through all this out loud. Um, actually I might, you know, use this new music language called form to create new kinds of music instrument colors and shapes. Um, you see our music notes that you can tap to play. Um, I did read that, uh, you know, the same shape, if you see the same shape, um, then that is a certain note. And then the colors, I believe, are the octave ranges. Um, so using this system will help you recognize those patterns. Uh, then here you go. The color is an octave. Um, the high notes go up towards the violet end of the spectrum. Low notes go down towards the red. So the brighter, uh, the darker the color, the lower the note. And the, the lighter the color, the higher the octave, um, the higher the note. Um, and the shape is a note, so you have these shapes here. So circle C looks like that half moon, um, you know, going up the, the scale there. Uh, to get a feel for which shape represents each note, you can toggle classic notation temporarily in settings. Okay, cool. Um, programmable transport MIDI controls uh, with your DAW. You can program these buttons to control those air, those uh, functions. Shift key um, in the center of the screen, and then troubleshooting. Uh, Visit us online from the settings menu, and then let's build a community, and then you can follow their social medias. So I'm going to hit dismiss here. Um, I have no sounds loaded up, so I'm just uh, looking at the interface here. I believe what I'm going to have to do is um, go into a DAW, load up a sound, and maybe put this in as a MIDI controller. So let's do that. I'm just going to look at the settings here. Um, you have MIDI channel, enable test audio, connect to MIDI via Bluetooth, uh, refresh MIDI, um, visit us online. So cool. That's sort of a layout of the actual app. I'm going to go into Beatmaker 3 here. Um, we're going to open up a new, uh, let's go to, um, just go to a template session. And I'm going to load up, uh, let's load up a plugin. Um, we'll go to uh, musicians and we'll go Pearson Platinum. I want an instrument that is not monophonic, uh, so meaning I can play multiple sounds and chords and things. And we'll go to, let's just go to a uh, acoustic piano um, or maybe layers, 80s layer. Let's see how that sounds. Sounds pretty good. We'll actually turn that down a little bit. Um, and then uh, let's see if there's something here that we need to change on the MIDI side for settings. I don't believe so. Um, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not using Bluetooth. Um, so really just trying to figure out. So right now um, this is controlling and I, I do know some of the patterns like this should be a major chord if I remember correctly. And this should be a minor chord. So there you go. Um, so really, I, I do like the um, the way that it's laid out. Let me see if I can figure out how to, let's see. Oh, you can move around. Uh, that's kind of cool where you can move around on the interface a little bit. Um, so I want to figure out how I can record this in Beatmaker 3. So let's go here. We'll just hit record. So 
So I still got to figure out how to get the transport keys to work uh, to control Beatmaker 3. Um, that's something I got to figure out on my own. Um, so what I'm going to do is see if I can get this uh, edited right there on the grid. I didn't quantize it. <laughs> Let's see if we can load up an 808 here and see if we can use form key to control the 808s. Um, so I'm going to go to Sidematics. I'm going to go to one of these, just 808. Uh, there we go. It is very powerful. Um, and let's, uh, we'll actually, we will set this guy on a loop and we will make sure we are in. I really got to get that uh, that MIDI figured out on how to control the uh, the start and stop um, transport stop. We'll go to transport stop, uh, and let's see if I hit stop here. Does that work like that? And then if I go here to transport record, and I hit that guy, I'm hoping that this is working the way I'm thinking. Um, play will go here and then forward and backward so backward will go here and forward will go here so let's see so there you go um, quick way uh, just figuring it out as we go along how to um, map the uh, MIDI to uh, to be maker three from form key. Um, so I'm gonna find the two notes. So what I was doing when I was playing it, I was trying to find the two notes that actually are in the key um, of the 808. I didn't tune the 808 to, to C, so that might not be C, but on the uh, on form key here, I do um, I found that the keyhole and the triangle and the triangle are the the two notes that I want. So um, so you'll you'll see me playing those um, two notes and I'm looking for them on the screen. Um, I might do the, that range there, so let's try it out. So that's just a quick idea. Um, and then let's see if we can record some drums to it and then uh, uh, using um, form key and then we will, uh, I will let you all go. <laughs> uh, again, I'm still figuring this thing, this stuff out. Um, I'm gonna go to, uh, let's pick on uh, the homie S1, symbolic one. Um, we're gonna go to career kit uh, volume one, take it back. Well, let's find uh, kick, <laughs> snare, um, and maybe some type of uh, hi-hat, uh, not a loop. I want to find like a one-shot hi-hat. There we go. And we'll take off some of these effects. And turn it down. So let's see if we go into here. So I have the, the drum sound that I have selected will be pitched um, according to these notes here. So I'm gonna do a hi-hat uh, pattern first.
let's try that A square kick <laughs> try a pattern with the snare drum here. Uh So that's a, just a quick overview of form key. I really like um, what this app can do. It's really great for inputting uh, data, uh, inputting MIDI into your DAW. Um, if you have a sound source, if you're not uh, really accessible to your keyboard or your other uh, MIDI input information or, or devices, um, if you're on the go, I could really see myself using this while traveling um, and while I figure out more about form key and how I can implement it into my workflow. Um, just today, uh, just in a few minutes, you know, figuring out how to get the MIDI uh, connected to uh, BeatMaker 3 because I really don't have to do MIDI mapping because usually I'm just plugging in a, a, a MIDI adapter to my keyboard and I'm good to go or plugging in directly to the iPad and I'm good to go. Um, so routing internally the MIDI from uh, form key um, into BeatMaker 3 specifically. Um, I believe there may be ways to do it with Cubasis or Nano Studio or GarageBand, um, but, Be but BeatMaker 3 is my main DAW. So figuring that out was uh, pretty easy, you know, once I, once I figured out how to do it. Um, but again, really minimalist uh, screen here, minimal screen. The colors tell you the key octave. Um, the shapes tell you the actual note. Um, and then you have your transport keys, which you can map to your DAW. Uh, you can go to settings here uh, to, to um, look at some more options. And then you can also do uh, hit the arrow here to, um, to sort of get another, uh, you know, some other views if you want to go up or down or... Um, or left or right uh, if you want to get to some of those lower octaves or higher octaves uh, but yeah form key um it's an incredible app uh thank you to brent and the whole form key team for allowing me to check this app out uh i um believe it's on the app store now uh if not brent don't kill me um but for those of you interested please check it out uh if it is on the app store i believe it was under like three dollars or maybe 2.99 or 3.99 um if that's wrong also brent don't kill me <laughs> but um it's a great app form key so shout out to brent again shout out to the whole form key team uh really like this app and look looking forward to using it more uh in my workflow um this has been another uh video for you all uh got more videos on the way be safe and be well everyone all right all right peace